Here's problem 6a. A roller coaster car has a mass of 500 kilograms when fully loaded with passengers. At the bottom of a circular dip of radius 40 meters as shown in the figure, the car has a speed of 16 meters per second. What's the magnitude of the force on the track on the car at the bottom of the dip? Alright, so we're moving at 16 meters per second. We have a um, radius of curvature of 40 meters. Let's do a free by diagram on a car. Here's our car. It's got weight, which would be down towards the center of the earth, mg. It also has a normal force of the track on the car, which is up, normal to the surface. And in this case, that normal force is going to be towards the center of the circle. There's no force in the forward direction because we're moving at constant velocity of 16 meters per second. And there's no other force to speak of in the vertical direction. What we do have a net acceleration that should be centripetal towards the center of the circle, and that's, in this case that would be up. So that is our positive direction for acceleration. So this is our free by diagram for this situation. And we're going to use that to set up our Newton's second law equation. We'll say that the summation of all the forces in the y direction is equal to mass times acceleration, in this case centripetal, and that is equal to the net force in the direction of acceleration, acceleration being the positive direction. So as we look at this, up is positive, so we're going to have normal force minus mg, because the mg is in the opposite direction. So, the centripetal acceleration, so we have mass times v squared over r, is equal to normal force minus mg. Add an mg to both sides, and then we'll get the normal force by itself. So the normal force will equal mass times velocity squared over r plus mg. It's actually going to be greater than the weight. If we put in our numbers, this will be 500 times the velocity, which is 16 meters per second squared, over the radius, which is 40 meters, so v squared over r, plus the weight, which would be 500 times 9.8. So what is that? If I take 16 squared divided by 40 times 500 plus 500 times 9.8, I get 8,100 newtons. So our normal force is 8,100 newtons. This is not the net force. This is just the force of the track on the car. Actually, the net force is this force minus the weight. So the net force would be smaller than this normal force. But this is indeed the force of the track on the car. And it is an upward direction.